Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video you'll be watching Ruffian and I competing at Siren Sister Park in the novice section. This is mine and Ruffian's first novice of the season. This week in comparison to Ruffian's last event he was a lot more rideable and a lot more relaxed. Um, no loose horses in the car park and no you know silly stunts and waving at the aeroplanes this week. And in general, he just felt a lot more rideable, and I really enjoyed our dressage test, actually. Um, for our center line, we got a 7.5. Um, throughout this test was a mixture of 7s and 7.5s, and the occasional 6.5. But we actually scored a 29.8, led the dressage after our test, which was really exciting, especially as there was so many professionals in my section. And yes, um, I rode my dressage test in sitting trot, apart from the medium trots, as you can see, um, just practicing my sitting trot basically and getting him a little bit more rideable and connected into my hands. Um, but yes, his medium trot I thought was a little bit tense to start with and there's a lot to improve on there. And then this 20 meter circle in canter should be showing some medium canter strides, but I find that incredibly hard in a 20 by 40 arena on a 17 hand horse, especially after the rain we had. Um, the ground was holding up as best as it could, but it was quite muddy um, around the outside of the arena, which made it a bit tricky to really push for those medium strides of canter and in trot um, onto our halt and rein back. Sadly, he just took a step back and broke the square halt, but I was still really pleased with it. And we actually got quite a nice score of seven for that rein back. He was a little tense in his neck, um, but he showed clear step backs and then he went forward into his walk. And then onto our free walk on a long rein. We scored a seven for this movement, but I think he could have stretched a lot further down. I think his step throughs were really lovely and shows a really nice relaxed walk, but he definitely could have stretched a little further down with his neck and just gathering my reins and keeping him nice and relaxed so he doesn't break into a trot or a canter and preparing myself for my trot at A, which he did really nicely and we scored a 7.5 and then preparing myself for our three loop serpentine. And again, I thought he was really rideable um, and he had a lovely contact and he's really light in my hands and yeah, just very rideable and adjustable throughout the three loop serpentines. And then just trying to keep my core engaged and not look like a sack of potatoes in the back of my horse <laughs> and try and relax into our trot, which I was really pleased with. And then preparing into our second and final medium trot, which in my opinion was a lot better than our first. It was a lot more relaxed and we got a 7.5 for that. Um, and the judge just commented better um, and I agree with that it was a much more relaxed medium trot and then into our canter and then for our canter work on our left rein we scored a few 6.5s which again I agree with he could have been a little bit more relaxed a lot more over his back and therefore his outline a little bit more relaxed in general um, and uh, there when we go down the long side you can see his quarters are ever so slightly in but he tried really hard for me in this counter canter and didn't lose too much of his connection and he didn't change his legs so I was really happy coming up the center line again just trying to keep my torso nice and relaxed and not bouncing around too much on his back and keeping him relaxed before our nice halt which was we scored a seven for that so I was very very pleased I have just finished my dressage. We are here at Siren Sest Park doing the novice section and it's really warm and humid today. But we just did the dressage and he was actually a very good boy, very rideable compared to last week um, or the week before. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking it was a positive test. He did a really good rain back. His can to work I feel like needs a little bit more adjusting. Um, but it was quite deep going because we've had a lot of rain in the UK. But he was very good in his trot work and his three loop serpentines I thought were quite good and we hit every marker, every transition correctly. So yeah, fingers crossed for a good result and there's a lot of jumping to come today. So fingers crossed we uh, get back safe and sound. So yes, as I mentioned, the jumping was a lot this day. I thought the show jumping was really built up to height and I was quite nervous going in because I was leading my section on my 29.8. Um, but I felt he was jumping really, really lovely, but slightly running through my hands. As you can see, he jumped that quite big and I had to really take a pull 
to get him to listen to me coming into this one strided double which he did jump really lovely um, but he did land on the correct leg and there you can see me just trying to pull him up and change into a you know change his leg but I kept it going over that red spread which he jumped quite big and then coming around this corner a little disunited a little higgledy piggledy it was not a very tidy round um watching it back but we did hit all our strides and he's very careful for me and he was a very good boy but I did feel that Ruff was running through me a little bit in this bit he's got roundings on his bridle and I think for next time I might just pop it on the bottom hole because coming into this treble I just half halted and he didn't quite listen so we had the first part down which was a real shame because we would have won our section but that popped us into fourth place going on to cross country and my aim for this round following on from our last event which I just didn't feel was so good I lost quite a lot of confidence since breaking my ankle um, and I just attacked this course and I think that just worked out really well for us. We actually went clear inside the time by 11 seconds. Um, so he really was motoring on and he felt quite rideable. Whereas before in our last event, he just kind of galloped around with me. And I didn't have much control or steering, but in this one, he was very rideable, really good boy, really brave. A lot of the tables were quite big and bold and he took a couple of strides out and he was really enjoying himself. And I was finally enjoying myself out on the cross country course and came home with big smiles on our faces and yeah really really had a blast and it was a fabulous cross country course at Sirencester Park and we are very much looking forward to our next event which is at Aston La Walls again in the novice and yeah thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you in the next video